1. Genghis wasn't his real name. The man who would become the Great Khan of the Mongols was born along the banks of the Onan River sometime around 1162 and originally named Temujin, which means of iron or blacksmith. He didn't get the honorific name Genghis Khan until 1206, when he was proclaimed leader of the Mongols at a tribal meeting known as a Kuraltai. While Khan is a traditional title meaning leader or ruler, historians are still unsure of the origins of Genghis. It may have may have meant ocean or just, but in context it is usually translated as supreme ruler or universal ruler. 2. He had a rough childhood. From an early age, Genghis was forced to contend with the brutality of life on the Mongolian steppe. Rival Tatars poisoned his father when he was only nine, and his own tribe later expelled his family and left his mother to raise her seven children alone. Genghis grew up hunting and foraging to survive, and as an adolescent he may have even murdered his own half-brother in a dispute over food. During his teenage years, rival clans abducted both he and his young wife, and Genghis spent time as a slave before making a daring escape. Despite all these hardships, by his early twenties he had established himself as a formidable warrior and leader. After amassing an army of supporters, he began forging alliances with the heads of important tribes. By 1206, he had successfully consolidated the steppe confederations under his banner and began to turn his attention to outside conquest. 3. He was responsible for the deaths of as many as 40 million people. While it's impossible to know for sure how many people perished during the Mongol conquests, many historians put the number at somewhere around 40 million. Censuses from the Middle Ages showed that the population of China plummeted by tens of millions during the Khan's lifetime, and scholars estimate that he may have killed a full three-fourths of modern-day Iran's population during his war with the Khwarezmid Empire. All told, the Mongols' attacks may have reduced the entire world population by as much as 11%. 4. The Soviets tried to snuff out his memory in Mongolia. Genghis Khan is now seen as a national hero and founding father of Mongolia, but during the era of Soviet rule in the 20th century, the mere mention of his name was banned. Hoping to stamp out all traces of Mongolian nationalism, the Soviets tried to suppress the Khan's memory by removing his story from school textbooks and forbidding people from making pilgrimages to his birthplace in Kenti. Genghis Khan was eventually restored to Mongolian history after the country won independence in the early 1990s, and he's since become a recurring motif in art and popular culture. The Great Khan lends his name to the nation's main airport in the city of Ulaanbaatar, and his portrait even appears on Mongolian currency. 5. No one knows how he died or where he is buried. Of all the enigmas surrounding the Khan's life, perhaps the most famous concerns how it ended. The traditional narrative says he died in 1227 from injuries sustained in a fall from a horse, but other sources list everything from malaria to an arrow wound in the knee. One of the more questionable accounts even claims he was murdered while trying to force himself on a Chinese princess. However he died, the Khan took great pains to keep his final resting place a secret. According to legend, his funeral procession slaughtered everyone they came in contact with during their journey and then repeatedly rode horses over his grave to help conceal it. The tomb is most likely on or around a Mongolian mountain called Burkhan Khaldun, but to this day its precise location is unknown.